Hello there. Welcome to the Watchman News. So I've had uh, a, a few requests asking uh, what type of gear that I'm using, asking me to do a video on the type of gear that I'm using. And so I'm going to do that video now. I apologize for any background noise or anything like that. I am using a, a wireless, uh, like a lapel type mic. I'll get into that later. Um, but, you know, it does pick up background noise. So anyway... Um, I will put all the links, Amazon affiliate links, in the description of the video. Um, that way, if you want to purchase it, um, you can. So, uh, and they are affiliate links, so I will get a little kickback if you use the links. Highly appreciate it. We are, we are completely kind of, I do what I can to self-fund. Other than that, uh, donations and, and the Amazon affiliate links and stuff like that. That's, that's how we do this that's how we grow so we appreciate each and every donation we appreciate uh, folks using the Amazon affiliate links and it helps us grow and so I also throw in a lot of my own money into doing this in fact the majority of it is my own money that I've thrown into doing this so it is what it is and again I apologize for background noise I shot this video once before and lost about the last five minutes of the video because the camera overheated and I will get into that in a little bit um, the camera overheated but I, I can't complain because it was like 95 degrees outside um, so that's why I'm out here this morning I'm gonna try to run through this as quickly as possible because uh, mosquitoes yo so anyway um, lights let's uh, let's get those off the table and out of the way these are just real cheap, inexpensive USB lights, if you wanted to uh, see the cover of it there, um, the label. And like I said, I'll put the link down in the description on uh, these particular lights. Now, you will not get any way to power the lights with them. You will just get the three lights in the stands. And uh, on the camera, it would be really hard for me to extend these all out and show you how tall they go. They don't go super tall. Um, and they're not super super bright But uh, they they seem to do okay. Uh, I do need to get a better lighting system But this most certainly works for now if you've watched any of the grow tent videos These are the lights that I use When I do uh, when I do videos at the table showing things inside these are the lights I use so like I said I do need some like softbox type of lights um, for for fill more or less but these really do a fair job for, for the cost. So again, I'll put the link down in the description. And most of this stuff, honestly, right off the top of my head, I can't tell you what it costs because I don't remember. I think these were in the 30 something dollar range, I think, for the lights, if I'm not mistaken. 30 something or 40 something dollars. So let me set them out of the way, off to the side here, so I can clear the table because I still got a bag off of the table. <laughs> that I got to put up, but it's got the uh, main stuff in it. So uh, let's talk about being out in the field and, uh, and needing to recharge your devices. So you guys have seen plenty of videos with the GoPower Plus and uh, you know, that is a viable way to charge devices. Now I will say this, those lights that I just showed you, yeah, these USB ports really do not do a good job of powering them. It definitely won't power them at, at full power, um, even though it, it claims that these are QC 3.0s, it, it, it just can't do it. It can't do it. So I will say that about those lights. You're going to have to have at least a 2 amp, like a phone charger, for each light, because if you don't, it's not going to be enough to power them. So I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. But the GoPower Plus, you know, using the AC outlet, I could most certainly run as power strip and three two amp um, like phone chargers and be able to power those lights without a problem but directly from the usb it just can't quite do it so let me set this off to the side and the other power solution i've showed you this before uh, this is my rock pals uh, 300 watt unit and this thing has no problem powering those lights at all the usb ports have no problem at all um, it does have the 3.0 ports here and then 2.1 amp ports on the top. I still haven't replaced um, that USB. I have to get some, uh, uh, some uh, solder de-wicking or de-wick solder or whatever you want to call it. 
um, to be able to remove the solder off the board. I don't want to screw around with it too much because I'll, I'll accidentally tear the, ta uh, the pads off the board and I don't want to do that. So I do have the USB ports, but I got to wait until I got a little bit more money so I can order some of that solder wick and, uh, and be able to, to get the solder off. So anyway, this is a, a very viable solution for being able to power those lights. So uh, the one thing that I'm not going to be able to show you because I'm using it in order to make this video um, is my DJI Pocket 2. So I highly recommend getting the Creator Combo. That's going to set you back, you know, $499 plus tax and whatnot. So for the Creator Combo. This, um, I, I did not have enough money when I, when I got it to be able to get the Creator Combo. It just wasn't going to happen. So I had to buy the components separately and they're a lot more expensive that way. So anyway, here's the box for the DJI Pocket 2 so you can get an idea of what, uh, what the camera looks like that you're, you're viewing right now. And then uh, the microphone that you're hearing me on is uh, right here, this wireless microphone. Uh, again, DJI. Uh, this is all a system that goes together. And uh, in order to use this microphone with the Pocket 2, you have to have the do-it-all handle. So, and that thing is incredible. Not only does the microphone connect to that, but I've got a tablet over here that I'm using to actually control the camera. And, uh, and so it also makes that wireless connection to the tablet so that I can control the camera. So that's a definite need. Um, and then this is a little tripod that, uh, that comes uh, with the creator combo again, I wasn't able to get the creator combo. So I had to buy that separately I think that was like 30 bucks for this. Uh, I want to say the camera was like 349 350 bucks or something like that just to get the camera by itself uh, This was like 30 bucks and then these were 99 bucks each so again, you know you you rack up the money quite a bit especially if you can't get um, the creator combo and the only other thing that I don't have that comes with the creator combo is the wide-angle lens And I think that's 60 bucks and I do still need to get that. I do want to get that Here is the case I'm using I was using I was using this case here. Okay uh, This is the small size case um, And again links will be down in the description and this will actually fit everything that comes with the creator combo but it is super, super tight in there. So uh, I wanted something that, that not only wasn't so tight in here, but also something that I could put other accessories in with as well. So uh, this was my original case that I used with the DJI Pocket 2. And uh, I like it. I mean, I really, really do like it. Um, I will show you on this case what I had to do to modify. Let me go ahead and open this case up. Okay, and I've got various things in here. I'll open up the top and show you. Um, one thing that I normally have in here that I don't have in here because it's, it's on the camera is a tripod mount. And of course, I can't show you the tripod I use. And it's just an expensive tripod. I, I, an expensive tripod. I need to get a better tripod. Um, so anyway, in the top here, I carry a uh, lens cleaner because, you know, it's a must. And then uh, I carry a spare card spare micro SD and then uh, here's a little Sony voice recorder and uh, the reason why is because the do-it-all handle only supports one microphone one wireless microphone so um, you know I would like to get a Rode uh, I forget what they call it Rode Duo or two or something I would like to get one of those in the future but again that's a that's a fairly big expense that I'm not you know really like, uh, excited about making at this point so if I would need to have audio from a second source I will use this and I actually have a lapel mic that I really wouldn't recommend again uh, I want to get the Rode um, I think they call it the Rode micro or something like that microphone it's like 60 bucks but again you know it's one of those I got I got to get this stuff as I can I certainly am not a, a wealthy person so um, and this was the uh, card reader that I was using and I, I don't use this card reader anymore or at least I hope I don't need to use this card reader anymore um, because uh, with the drone with the uh, I think it's called the extreme um, the SanDisk extreme 
uh, for some reason, I guess the card's faster than what this is rated for, and it will keep disconnecting. So um, it's the only card I have that problem with, but it's the only card I have that's, that's that fast. So I, uh, I did get a better option than that. I don't use that anymore. I'll show you what I use now momentarily. This is the cable that came with the uh, Pocket 2. And then this is the a little short cap that came with it. And I think they they kind of intend for you to put this on uh, anytime you're not using anything else like the do-it-all handle. Or here's a tripod mount here. The do-it-all handle has a tripod mount in the bottom of it. Um, but normally, you know, this, this end cap is on it. Uh, they give you a tripod mount end cap. But like I said, the do-it-all handle also has a tripod mount in the bottom of it. So... Um, I don't put this on because I'm not a fan of constantly putting on and taking off different things. Um, you know, it, it loosens them and stuff like that. Because I don't typically ever use the Pocket 2 without the do-it-all handle. So, I always have that on. So, that takes care of that Pocket there. This is the uh, case that comes with the Pocket 2. And down in here, I do have a wide-angle lens. But it's from, and I won't link this because it, it's crap. Uh, US Key Vision is the brand. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I do not recommend. So I do want to get the actual um, DJI wide angle lens for it because uh, that, that one's kind of blurry and ick. So anyway, I showed you the tripod mount. Here's that uh, little tripod that I was telling you about. And that little thing, believe it or not, is really handy. It's really well made. It does have a little bit of an adjustment that you can make here, a little bit of a pivot, you know, to kind of move the camera on it just a little bit. And I'll tell you what, that is one handy little bitty um, uh, tripod. Now, when you see me, uh, when you see me do a video where I'm showing like my computer monitor on the video, I've got it on this. So, just so you know. And I probably put it. No, I can get it. Thought I put it in there too deep that I couldn't get it back out. I've done that before. Um, so anyway, it comes with a, and again, I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, here is a uh, lightning connector that it comes with, but I don't do Apple products, so I don't use it. Uh, here is the USB-C connector. If you don't have uh, the, the do-it-all handle and you're not connected wirelessly and you want to connect to, uh, your, say, your mobile phone, um, you you use this and that is what I got this here for and let me show you what it is It's actually in two pieces or technically three I guess So and it just goes together like this and Then on the bottom of course you got a tripod mount But what you do is the pocket two fits in here and then wow I got to clip my nails again uh, My nails every two three days. I have to clip them. They grow that freaking fast women would die for my fingernails so anyway, um, the Pocket 2 sits right here, and then this connector here sits right about there. And then what you do is you slide your, your mobile device, your phone into there, into that. And that kind of holds it all steady, so you're not wobbly and you're not kind of uh, messing up connections and stuff like that. Um, but I don't like connecting it that way. Um, it's just not the way I prefer. I'd rather do it wirelessly and uh, it just makes it so much easier, more convenient. And uh, let me get this thing back apart and in there. Um, so, and then they give you a cover for the port. There's a port um, on the Pocket 2 that I showed you that those connectors go into. And if you don't have a connector in it, there also is, and you can't see it, but there's like a thumb stick, a thumb wheel. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's on on the box here let me show it to you on the box that right there and uh that's actually on it right now and i don't like taking it off because again i don't like taking stuff off and putting it back on if it's not absolutely necessary to do it because you you wear things that way you uh, make things fit loosely that way so i like to leave it on there but there is an issue <laughs> and here's the the flat panel that they give you to put on there just to protect the connectors but um, I just leave the uh, leave that control stick on there and this case unfortunately did not have uh, a spot to where that thumb stick could fit down into 
So I actually did have to take an X-Acto knife and, and cut that out. This case here had plenty of room in it for that thumb stick. And so I didn't have to worry about that with this case. But this case, you will have to, and this is the medium size case. They make a large as well that will also hold the, uh, well, they've got a charging case you can buy. So, and it will hold that as well. So, and this spot here is for the wireless mic, and this spot here is for the do-it-all handle. This is the SD card reader that I now use. It's, uh, is it Kingston? I think it's the brand. Making sure that I uh, don't pronounce it wrong. Kingston. And these, so far, I love them. I bought two of them. They're like 10 bucks a piece. Again, I'll link them down in the description. I bought two of them. They're absolutely incredible card readers. I like them. Um, they're small, they're easy, they're portable. I keep one in here, and I keep one in one of my drone cases. So, uh, let me uh, close that up and get that out of the way. Uh, I got a bag down here to bring up here, but I'll do that here last. Here's my, and no, it didn't cost, uh, that, that was a sheet set that came in here. <laughs> so, this didn't cost uh, 55 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for this. Probably 20, 30 bucks. Anyway, I'll link it down in the description. It's, it's a green screen. It's just that simple. It's a green screen. So, not too much excitement with that, right? So, let's set that off to the side. And then, uh, uh, I'll go ahead and show this to you. This is, of course, my Mavic Mini, my DJI Mavic Mini. And I do got to get the Angry American uh, sticker off of there because I really no longer kind of, you know, stand behind that dude. Not after... Not after what he had to say about Ashley Babbitt and all that, right? Uh, right after the the deal happened in in the Capitol building. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you shouldn't just jump to say things you know nothing about. And yeah, I do hold that kind of stuff uh, against people. So, anyway, yeah, I need to get that off there and put a decal on there that's actually worthy of my, uh, uh, you know attention but anyway great drone um i would recommend that instead of the mavic mini if you're looking for a sub 250 gram drone i would highly recommend that you get the mavic mini 2 well they don't call it a mavic they call it a mini 2 um because it's much better in winds and stuff like that this one's not super good in winds um it also uses wi-fi for the data transfer to where the uh, mini 2 uses OcuSync. so uh, which is a better uh, transmission transmission method. So that's the DJI Mavic Mini there, the, the first one. And those that know DJI knew that by the controller because they changed controllers. So now we are to the bag. And this is the bag again. I need to get a bigger bag. I, I, what I want to get is like a uh, hard shell um, suitcase is what I want to get. Uh, I do not like soft cases for much of anything. Oops, sorry, the dog's um, dragging the thing around. Sorry, let me get the camera set back up there. My apologies. <sighs> I'm telling you, this, this, this video has is, is been a complete nightmare. So I hope you guys appreciate this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Talk about frustrating. Okay, here's the microphone that I told you that I would not link because it's crap. It's just a cheap lapel microphone. I'm not going to link it in the description because it's absolute junk. And uh, again, I need the Rode Micro. So, just a money thing, you know. Um, and this bag here, in here, I've got a bunch of different like GoPro type attachments to attach it different ways. Uh, chest mounts and head mounts and you name it um, just various mounts and I'll link that in the description as well uh, that's very handy very very handy um, I can't remember I think I got this free with the SD card or something so um, it's okay it's not really anything all all that it's uh, you know it, it is what it is but I've used it and it's handy in different situations because of the way that the legs will bend up and stuff like that. So it is handy in some some certain scenarios. So get in there. You open this up. Here is uh, my still camera and I've got to get another camera because 
I've way surpassed uh, this one. And this is just a, uh, a Nikon, a cool Pixel 840. And if you're looking for a point and shoot camera and that's all you need, I couldn't recommend this enough. This thing takes gorgeous pictures, takes real nice video in 1080. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice camera. But if you want to do a little more uh, professional type of things like being able to say manually focus, <laughs> this is not your camera. Uh, you can't manually focus this or anything like that. It's a point and shoot camera. But it, again, for what it is, it's, uh, it's a really nice camera. I, I, I like it. I use it. Um, but again, I do plan on getting a better camera as soon as I can afford to. So, uh, all right. And normally what sets in here is my, my pocket too sets in here in this case. And then... The last thing in the bag, this is uh, the Mavic Air 2. So, and there you go. Let me get my trust certificate out of there. Nobody needs to know my information. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I just don't want to show my numbers. Just, you know, one of those things. Trust certificate. So, if you're a drone pilot, uh, you have to, uh, you have to, pass this test it's really kind of you know it's kind of hard to fail it to be honest I don't know that you actually can fail it um, but anyway uh, by law you do have to have a trust certificate and then uh, again covering up my number there so I don't have any issues um, that is my uh, that's my other certificate this is for being able to fly drones uh, over 250 grams so um, yeah, and they don't give you a nice card. I had to order that, uh, ordered the card off of Amazon. Um, so this here is uh, just printed out um, on the computer. <laughs> printed out and, uh, and folded up and put in there. So that's all. Not a big deal. But this is the Mavic Air 2. Um, they do have a, uh, an Air 2S now uh, that has a one inch camera sensor and better in low light conditions and stuff. Other than that, performance of the two are, are pretty comparable, and um, they're both really, really good drones. So uh, you can save a little bit by going with an Air 2 versus the uh, Air 2S. It's uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, but you know, this is uh, again my other camera camera platform, uh, drone camera platform. So, and I absolutely love this bird. This is an amazing, amazing drone. So. Um, anyway, that, that pretty well wraps up the equipment that I am currently using. I don't, uh, I don't know really what else to, to show you. Um, I think that pretty well wraps it up. I don't know of anything else to, to tell you about. Um, I will, again, I'll link everything in the description, uh, that's worthy of getting. And then, uh, you can go from there. So like I said, I had a few people asking about this stuff. And so I figured I'd get out here and I'd make a video. Tried it once, camera overheated. Oh yeah, that's, I was gonna tell you about that. Um, the DJI Pocket 2, it will get warm, especially when you shoot uh, 4K 60 frames a second, which is what I shoot whenever I make these type of videos. And so it will get a little bit warm. So if it's, you know, if it's hot outside, Chances are it's going to overheat and when it does that it will shut down recording it, it will shut down recording and it tell you on the screen that it quit because it overheat or well to tell you it overheated uh, And that's what happened the other day like right up to like last five minutes of the video I was shooting was great and then I can say um, It got hot it shut off and so that's why I'm reshooting the video so It is what it is and again. I'm sorry for all the background noise. I'm sorry for uh uh, Blue wrapping herself up in the, in the tripod and jerking the camera around um, But there you go. That's the equipment that I have and uh, Again, I highly appreciate anybody that uses the Amazon affiliate links or throws us a, a PayPal donation our way it like I say it all goes back into this and so It's not like uh, it's not like I'm trying to live my life off of uh, off of YouTube or what we do so anyway I think that pretty well covers it. I think I'm going to wrap it up. And I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. And Shalom.